Canadian Neurological Scale Case Examples This video is intended to complement the work completed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation. The Canadian Neurological Scale, CNS, is used to evaluate and monitor neurological status of stroke patients who are alert or drowsy. Glasgow Coma Scale, GCS, is utilized in the stuporous and comatose stroke population, utilized by nurses caring for stroke patients across the CESN. Standardized, validated assessment tool, recommended by the Heart and Stroke Foundation and Registered Nurses Association of Ontario Best Practice Guideline sensitive to mild deterioration of neurological status. Takes approximately five minutes to complete. Does not assess cerebellar or brainstem infarcts. Alert or drowsy stroke patient. Score range 1.5 to 11.5. Four components to assessment. Level of consciousness, orientation, speech, expressive and receptive, motor strength, Stuporous or comatose patient, score range 3 to 15. Three components are assessed, motor responsiveness, verbal performance, eye opening. Barriers, no definitions for grading scale, no language component. When to use the CNS. Acute stroke, TIA admissions. TPA and non-TPA. Alert or drowsy stroke patient. Anytime a change in the neurological status is suspected. Can be used on other patients you suspect may be having a stroke or TIA. Note, please follow your organizational guidelines. Completing the tool. Score between 1.5, lowest functioning, and 11.5, highest functioning. Two streams. Section A, mentation, LOC, orientation and speech, and assess motor function in one of two ways. Section A1, motor function with no receptive deficit. Section A2, motor response with receptive deficit. Do not complete both A1 and A2. Section A guides the nurses to A1 or A2. First step, assess LOC, patient alert or drowsy, Canadian neurological scale, patient stuporous or comatose, Glasgow coma scale. What tools do you need? CNS document, flashlight, key, watch, pen and pencil. The CNS assessment can be completed when the patient is in bed or in a chair. The assessment includes vital signs and pupil assessment. Section A will be completed on all patients whose level of consciousness is alert to drowsy. Patients who are stuporous or to comatose will be assessed using the GCS. The nurse completes Section A. Hi Dorothy, can you tell me what city we're in? Barry. Good. Can you tell me the month and the year? October 2018. Good. First, the receptive speech is assessed by asking the following. Do not prompt by gesturing. Dorothy, can you close your eyes? Good. Can you point to the ceiling? And does a stone sink in water? Yes. Please note that some organizations may not use the question, does a stone sink in water? The patient responded appropriately, therefore the patient does not have a receptive deficit. At this time, the expressive speech is assessed by asking the following questions. Okay, Dorothy, can you tell me what this is? It's a pen. Good. And this? A watch. And this? A key. Perfect. Can you tell me what this does? It writes. And what does this do? It tells time. And what does this do? Unlocks a door. Good. The patient responded appropriately, so the patient does not have an expressive deficit. Please note, if the patient's speech is slurred and intelligible, score normal speech and record SL along with the score. Slurred speech is not considered an expressive deficit. 
At this time, the motor function is assessed. Patient did not have a receptive deficit, therefore A1 motor function, no receptive deficit will be completed. The nurse will assess for facial weakness. Dorothy, can you show me your smile? Nice big smile. Good. The nurse will assess for proximal arm strength by applying pressure to the bicep area. The nurse will assess for distal arm strength. Pressure is applied between the wrist and the knuckles. The nurse will assess for proximal leg strength. Pressure is applied to the mid thigh. The nurse will assess for distal leg strength. Patient is asked to dorsiflex their feet. For example, they can be asked to bring their toes to their nose. Pressure is applied to the top of the foot. This patient did not display any motor deficits. To tally score, add sections A and A1. Hi, Dorothy. Can you tell me what city we're in? Barry. Good. Can you tell me the month and the year? October 2018. Good. First, the receptive speech is assessed by asking the following. Do not prompt by gesturing. Dorothy, can you close your eyes? Good. Can you point to the ceiling? And does a stone sink in water? Yes. Please note that not all facilities use the question, does a stone sink in water? Please note that the patient responded appropriately, therefore the patient does not have a receptive deficit. At this time, the expressive speech is assessed by asking the following questions. Dorothy, can you tell me what this item is? Knife. Okay. And how about this item? Bracelet. How about this item? It's a key. Okay, good. Can you tell me what you would do with this? Sharp. Okay. And what would you do with this? Wrist. And how about this one? Open. Open. The patient was unable to state the name and the use of the pencil and watch. Therefore, they have an expressive deficit. They would score 4.5 in Section A. At this time, the motor function is assessed. Patient has an expressive speech deficit, but did not have a receptive deficit. Therefore, complete A1 motor function, no receptive deficit. Dorothy, show me your smile. Oh, beautiful smile. The nurse will assess for proximal arm strength by applying pressure to the bicep area. The nurse will assess for distal arm strength. Pressure is applied between the wrist and the knuckles. The nurse will assess for proximal leg strength. Pressure is applied to the mid thigh. The nurse will assess for distal leg strength. Patient is asked to dorsiflex their feet. For example, they can be asked to bring their toes to their nose. Pressure is applied to the top of the foot. This patient did display a motor deficit on the right proximal arm and right distal foot. For section A1, the score would be 5.5. .5. To tally the final score, add sections A and A1. The final score would be 10. Dorothy, can you tell me what city you're in? How about the month? Do you know what month it is? Mm. How about the year? Do you know what year it is? This patient is unable to respond appropriately to these questions, therefore a score of zero is given. Dorothy, can you close your eyes for me? Can you close your eyes? Okay. 
Dorothy, can you open your eyes for me? Dorothy, can you point to the ceiling? Can you point to the ceiling? Can you tell me, does a stone sink in water? Please note the patient could not respond appropriately to all three questions. Therefore, the patient has a receptive deficit. They would score zero in speech. In total, they would receive a score of three in section A. At this time, the motor function is assessed. The patient has a receptive speech deficit, therefore complete A2 motor response receptive deficit. The nurse will assess for facial symmetry. The nurse will attempt to have the patient mimic her smile. The nurse will assess for arm strength by demonstrating or lifting a patient's arm to 90 degrees. Score ability to maintain equal levels for greater than 5 seconds. The nurse will assess for leg strength by lifting patient's hip to 90 degrees. Score ability to maintain equal levels for greater than 5 seconds. This patient did display a motor deficit on the right arm and leg. Score for section A2 would be zero. To obtain a final score, add sections A plus A2. The final score would be three. A decrease of more than one point from the previous CNS score is indicative of change in patient condition and requires notification of the physician.